Welcome back to GameStore, everybody. I'm your host, Matt. So, I did something. I went off camera and decided I would try out this next competition at Olympus Coliseum. And the first couple battles were very, very easy, but the final battle was insanely hard and I got my butt handed to me. So, I am going to hold off on playing the rest of that for now and get a little stronger first. I also went off camera and just opened up some chests that I couldn't open before I got the double jump ability. So I am not going to fight in this competition yet. So like the first competition, the fill cup seemed to, the difficulty was pretty evenly distributed throughout, but with this it's almost like it wants to lure you into a false sense of security by having all the rest of the battles be so easy and then have the final battle be insanely hard. So I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna go to another world first and you know level up a little bit so all right so there's two worlds I can go to one with five stars one with six so I need to warp toward monstro and then just keep going I hope he I hope he doesn't swallow me again Okay. Oh, no, here comes Monstro. Is he gonna eat me? Yeah, he's gonna eat me. And then I guess I just disembark from here. Seems like the thing to do. This next world is actually kinda cool. If I can just get out of Monstro. Alright. There's Geppetto's boat again. Alright. Back to the ship. Alright, conventional drive for this next world. Gotta leave Monstro in my dust. There's just a couple of ships around here. Nothing too crazy. Can I hit those things? Oh, uh, no. Nah. Oh, here's the new world. Oh, this is a different world than I thought it was going to be. Okay. This is still cool, though. Alright, so this world looks like a giant rock, and inside is like just a bunch of ocean. So this is Atlantica. Let's check it out. What does Donald say? Okay, guys, prepare for landing. Sora says, land where? In the sea? We'll drown. And Donald says, not with my magic, we won't. Just leave it to me. see what he's gonna do. Alright, so we're in the ocean. I'm in like a just an underwater cave and there's a big clam shell. Oh, alright, so Sora's turned into a merman, um, Donald has octopus tentacles, and Goofy's turned into a turtle. Interesting. Donald doesn't look too happy. He's just floating around. Oh, it's Ariel. All right. So it looks like Ariel, Flounder, and uh, Sebastian from The Little Mermaid are coming. Sebastian is a tiny red crab with a Jamaican accent. Flounder's a fat yellow and blue fish. Uh, and Ariel is a mermaid uh, with long red hair. So here come they come. On, Sebastian. Ariel, wait! Slow down! Don't leave me behind! <laughs> Ah! 
No, relax, Sebastian. They don't look like one of them. Right, Flounder? I don't know. There's something weird about them. Uh, <laughs> uh what do you mean? Hmm, they do seem... a little different. Where are you from? Uh, we're from kind of far away. And we're not really used to these waters. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, I see. In that case, Sebastian can show you how we swim around here. Ariel, King Triton will not like this. Oh, don't worry. All right, so he, so Sebastian says, easy for you to say. Okay, it's time for you to learn how to swim properly. Oh, it just shows me how to how to dive and how to rise. So I need to tag Flounder. Where'd Flounder go? There he is. This is easy enough. Whoop, no, I don't want to leave here. This is a fun world, though, I will say. Where'd Flounder go? Is he further up? Oh, there he is. Gotta love those steel drums. Alright. Where'd he go? Oh, did I see him? No. Let's go up a little higher. There he is. There he is. He just keeps swimming around and I have to tag him. Good job! Now let's move on to self-defense! Sebastian! Yeah? Ooh, some Heartless are coming. They look like jellyfish. <laughs> let's fight him. Ooh, everyone's hiding, except us. All right, let's get him. Oh, they're all coming back. Safe point. So Ariel says, Those creatures chased us here. Sebastian says, Oh no, those monsters might be heading for the palace too. We'd better head back right away. Flanders says, What if we run into more on our way back? Ariel says, I'm sorry, but we need your help. Please come to the palace with us. The trident markers on the walls point the way there. We won't get lost as long as we follow them. Let's get going. All right, so I'm going to put her on my team. I'm going to replace... I'm going to replace Donald with her. Excellent. So let's go ahead and save. All right, so let's follow the trident markers on the walls. Oh, what do we got going on now? Oh, it just shows the title of the, uh, the world, Atlantica. All right, let's keep following the markers. So I'm just in a big valley under the sea, and there's uh, rock formations everywhere, and like a little whirlpool. to swim with this whirlpool around me. It's like a little geyser under the uh, under the water in a cave somewhere. 
Alright, let's just keep going. Looks like I need to go down now. Oh, and there's a little cave. It takes me to a place it says called the Calm Depths. Ooh, there's a little ghost heartless here. Let's just keep going. More jellyfish heartless. Alright, one last heartless. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, looks like the palace is further up ahead. There's a cave here that I need to go into. It just looks like undersea caves and valleys right now. They don't really change. Just a lot of gray rocks and stuff. Ooh, this looks cool. Okay, so I'm in the road leading up to the palace, and there's, uh... Looks like a, a bunch of uh, towers made out of rock with lights in them and stuff some columns and things, and the palace looks like this big golden uh, thing off in the distance. So let's go to King Triton's throne room. That was too close! As long as I have my trident, I will not tolerate those creatures inside this palace. Alright, so King Triton, he's a big muscular looking guy with long white hair and a white beard. And he's got gold bracers, um, like pointy crown, and he's a merman as well. And he's got a uh, gold trident. Daddy? Oh, Ariel! When will you listen? It's dangerous out there! Um. Strange creatures lurk outside. <coughs> Behold! You swim before the ruler of the seas! His Majesty, King Triton! And who are they? They helped us fight off those creatures. They don't look familiar. We're from an ocean very far away. Yup, yup, we came to find the keyhole. The what? What's that? Yup, well, it's up. There's no such thing, certainly not here. But, Daddy. Ariel, not another word. You are not to leave the palace. Is that clear? And, of course, she's leaving. Oh, we're leaving too. <laughs> oh, perhaps I'm being too strict. I'm just concerned for her safety. Of course, Your Majesty. But I must admit, now I'm quite curious about this keyhole. That need not concern you, Sebastian. Have you anything to report? Just as you suspected, Your Majesty, they seem to be coming from Ursula's Gurato. I knew it. That sea witch is up to no good again. A sea exile from the palace has taught her nothing. Yes, she poses serious danger. And I told you to keep Ariel away from such danger, did I not? Your Majesty, please, I... Hmm. Well, let's see what we can do. Can we go back yet? I think there's a save point there. Yeah, so King Triton's here. Yep, there is a save point here. Excellent.
And I can go back to the ship if I need to. Let's see if there's any goodies around King Triton's throne. No, not really. Can I go up and talk to him? Eh, he doesn't really say anything. Let's just head out of here and see where else I can go. Oh, there's a... Oh, there's a clam shell, but it won't open until I kill the Heartless. It looks like there's something in there that I can take, too. Ooh. Ooh, there's some Heartless that are dressed in, like, scaly fish armor. Ooh, Goofy just leveled. Alright. Is that all of them? Yep. Alright, let's see if I can open that thing up. There's a white trinity mark, but I don't have white trinity yet. Huh, oh, let's see if... Looks like I need to use magic to open it. There we go. Oh, I got a mithril shard. So it basically works like a chest, but I need magic to open it. Alright, let's leave. I don't care about that heartless. Alright, let's keep going. Let's see, Ariel says, Come to my grotto, I want to show you something. There it is, see? Yeah, there's a, a cave that's blocked by a uh, big rock. There's a dolphin up here. Alright, let's go into her grotto. Heartless keep appearing randomly. So. Alright, yeah, so we're in her grotto. So it's just a tall cave going up, um, and then there's a bunch of treasure chests and stuff around here. Look at all the wonderful things Flounder and I have collected. I think it's all from the outside world. Ooh, and there's a trident marker here, like a... I don't know, like a just a, a symbol on the wall. Someday I'm gonna see what's out there. I wanna see other worlds. Does that sound strange? And uh, Sora says, no, not at all. I used to feel the same way. Used to? I mean, I still do. So Ariel says, hey, why don't we try looking for that keyhole you were talking about? Uh, Sora's like, but your father said... She says, oh, he treats me like a little girl. He never wants to let me do anything. He just doesn't understand. Oh, Sebastian's watching. Well, let's see if there's any chests around here that I can collect. Hmm... Oh, that looks like one I can collect. Got a cottage. Oh, there's another one. Oh, got another torn page. I'll have to head back to uh, 100 Acre Wood eventually. But I think the next world has a torn page too, so I might as well do that first. Alright, so there's nothing else here in the grotto. Oh no, there's a... There's a chest. With a mega potion. What does Flounder say if I talk to him? Ooh. There's this really big fish who can swim against the current, but he's scared of those weird things swimming around, so if we chase them away, I think the big fish will play with us. Maybe if you grab onto him, he'll take you somewhere. He means the dolphin. though they're technically mammals. But, you know, let's... In oh, I was going to say let's end the episode, but there's a cutscene. We're leaving the grotto. Ooh, these two moray eels are in here. They look like they're up to no good. Hmm. Ha! Those impudent fools will never find the keyhole. But the girl could hold you and I've got the heartless... On my side. Triton, my old friend. <laughs> Your day is coming. <laughs> Alright, so this is Ursula, and I mentioned her a little bit before, but I haven't described her yet. So she's a larger uh, purple lady with octopus tentacles instead of legs, and she's got uh, short white hair, and uh, she wears like red lipstick.
So yeah, she's evil as all heck. Alright, well, I'll pause. Let's end the episode here, and we'll fight the Heartless later.